SVB failed because the bank's management did not effectively manage its interest rate and liquidity risk. And the bank then suffered a devastating and unexpected run by its uninsured depositors in a period of less than 24 hours. Immediately following SVB's failure, Chair Powell and I agreed that I should oversee a review of the circumstances leading up to SVB's failure. In this review, we are looking at SVB's growth and management, our supervisory engagement with the bank, and regulatory requirements that applied to the bank. The picture that has emerged thus far shows SVB had inadequate risk management and internal controls that struggled to keep pace with the growth of the bank. Supervisors began delivering supervisory warnings near the end of 2021. Our review will consider whether these supervisory warnings were sufficient and whether supervisors had sufficient tools to escalate them. We are also focusing on whether the Federal Reserve's supervision was appropriate for the rapid growth and vulnerabilities of the bank. While the Federal Reserve's framework focuses on size threshold, size is not always a good proxy for risk particularly when a bank has a non-traditional business model. We need to move forward with our work to improve the resilience of the banking system, including the Basel III endgame reforms, a long-term debt requirement for large banks, and enhancements to stress testing with multiple scenarios so that it captures a wider range of risk and uncovers channels for contagion like those we saw in the recent series of events. We must also explore changes to our liquidity rules and other reforms to improve the resilience of the financial system. In addition, recent events have shown that we must evolve our understanding of banking in light of changing technology and emerging risk. The FDIC will undertake a comprehensive review of the deposit insurance system and will release a report by May 1 that will include policy options for consideration relating to deposit insurance coverage levels, excess deposit insurance, and the implications for risk-based pricing and deposit insurance fund adequacy. In addition, the FDIC's chief risk officer will undertake a review of the FDIC supervision of Signature Bank and will also release a report by May 1. 